The temperature just dropped to a solid 40 degrees in New York City. Oh, nah, we gonna need a coat. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. But it's definitely coat season. I found some beautiful, beautiful coats. Um, some of them are dupes, but a lot of them are just really, really cute coats. Okay, so we have all seen the beautiful Saks Pots coats. I have been looking for one in a right size the price that I'm willing to pay and the right color and material and I guess it's just a crazy uh, um, mix of things that I just can't find I've been looking for a seller here I don't want to buy anything and I want it to be what I want for that price but until then I found some really good dupes this first one is from ASOS now while I think it is very cute and looks a lot like the Saks Pot one. If you are in New York, if you are in Jersey, if you are in uh, uh, Chicago, in the Midwest, this is probably not the coat for you. <laughs> if you are someplace with milder temperatures, this would work. This is a faux leather coat. Those have the tendency not to be warm. And while it's cute and it might be okay for fall, you know. That this is not going to work but i did want to show it to you guys if you want to use it for next year or if you are blessed enough to be in a place that has a milder temperature look at this one from naked fashion i'm gagging this <laughs> is so good now i don't know if it's the way they styled it if it's the way the model is posing but this is really giving me sax pop vibes i love this coat so much again it probably won't keep me warm because i am in new york city in the cold but if you are someplace else with milder maybe if you're in atlanta or georgia or something shh, you guys this is so so cute. And if you haven't been on Naked Fashion for some coats, I'm going to talk about some later on in this video, they have some really cute options. But even look at the way this coat looks without it being belted. It's just falling beautifully. It's very trendy. The material might not be the uh, most classic thing. I know a lot of people looking for classics, but if you are a fashion gal and love a trend, this is definitely, definitely for you. I love this coat. In my last video, I spoke a little bit about finding um, some more options that have extended sizes. I'm having some luck little by little. I know there are issues with Eloquy, but this coat is giving me sax pop vibes. Like the lavender is beautiful, which looks great on this model it's still giving you the fur collar and um and the sleeves it's just beautiful eloquy also has another really cute coat that i would 110 percent wear this is called the collection edition faux fur coat eloquy is from size 14 i believe to 32 or, or 30 something in that range and they have a few good things okay i'm going to be honest some of these things don't look amazing picking and choosing is a key this purple coat or this lavender coat is beautiful it still gives you that sex pot vibe for a much much cheaper price okay so i have been looking a really very long clean uh, uh kind of coat i want it in black or like a army green um the shoulder pads to be shoulder padding right but very long all the way to my ankles if i can find something this coat from naked fashion almost does the trick comes in this beautiful green, this beautiful cream, and this beautiful black. So the length of this coat is exactly what I was looking for. And though the cream color is beautiful, I am very afraid of it because I have brown makeup or red lipstick and I would hate to get that on this beautiful coat. Okay, so when you think of outerwear, you're usually just thinking of coats. But I saw this long vest at BCBG. I know in overseas, you guys call it a gilet, right? Um, you guys call it a gilet, but in America, in New York, we call it a vest. It's a long vest. And I saw this in black and it's beautiful. It's totally at my alley. I love color, but especially during the fall, I am very into the black, the whites, the golds, the creams. I love this in the black paired with some nice jeans, a jacket underneath because you don't want to just have your arms out. 
But you guys, if you are a girl who loves color, can you please look at this vest slash gilet in yellow? Mustard. It is a stunner. I would probably get the black only because I feel like I could wear it different ways. But man, this yellow is something else. Now, it is BCBG, so it's probably decent quality. Um, it does look incredibly warm. It is just, it's beautiful to me. It is absolutely beautiful. What would you get? Would you get the black or would you get the yellow? So if you follow my community page or have been watching me, you saw me talk about the Awake Mode and um, Other Stories collab. You guys, I got nothing. <laughs> By the time I got to the website, everything that I wanted or everything in, the, in my size that I wanted was gone. So if you got something, I'm jealous. But there is this coat that was there that I kind of hesitated on because I wasn't a hundred percent sure, but I recently saw it on somebody and the thing is amazing. And I am kicking myself for not buying it. They do have some sizes left. Now, I feel like on the website, I was kind of like, I'm not sure, but in real life, it's beautiful. But if you missed out on that coat like I did, check out this coat from Another Other Stories. As much as I love a wool coat, I am a sucker, a sucker for a faux fur or some type of really puffy, um, fabulous kind of coat. And again, I love it when it covers my whole body. This is in a cream color, which would make me very nervous. On those days when I'm not wearing foundation, and I'm just putting like concealer and some sunglasses on, this would be perfect because this could be dressed up or dressed down right how cool would this coat be with a cool new pair of sneakers i recently got some nike what are they called again they're on the screen i put them on the screen but imagine like on a dressed down day and you're just running to the store with this kind of fabulous coat and some cool sneakers and a bag and that's really what i love about the winter right you don't really have to worry about what you're wearing underneath as long as your coat is on <laughs> as long as your coat is saying something you saying something and you could just walk out and do whatever you want to do so we know that teddy bear coats go with max max mara right they are the 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 people who in the fashion industry have the best kind of teddy bear coats and we've all seen the long one they've recently come out with a short really beautiful luscious one but it's very expensive at per usual look at this one from banana republic now if you watch this video you know that i told you that banana republic has been churning out some bangers lately right they have been churning and churning out some beautiful clothing and they're really trying to position themselves at a different place in the market banana republic used to be a little more affordable if I'm being honest but now they're trying to change and go a different way and I'm here for it I love a lot of the things that they have put out recently so you know that this coat that looks very similar to the Max Mara one is gonna be a good dupe right now as I make this video it is 50% off and you guys you know the sale season is coming there's a lot of things on sale right now obviously but the day after Thanksgiving there's gonna be a lot of sales right now this coat is 50% off as I film hopefully it will stay until then but if it doesn't stay until um, when I put this video up I guarantee you there's gonna be some good sales on Black Friday so same look different price very cute so last year or two years ago last year or two years Stan studio had the fashion girls in a choke coat we were all looking at this black and white coat um, which I got a dupe of which I love and then they had a bunch of of leather coats that had wool it was just it was a chokehold situation. But besides that, if you care nothing about Stan Studio, this coat is still very cute. It is giving me Stan Studio vibes. That's why I mentioned it, right? It is from Mango and it's beautiful. I actually bought a very similar one to this. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I bought one like this from Mango last year. Here in white, it's a little longer um, and I haven't gotten any makeup on it, thank goodness. But yeah, Mango is always a great spot for coats as well. Affordable. The one I got last year is extremely warm. Um, and this one looks just as cute. 
I love the pockets in the front. I love that it's oversized because I'm loving um, oversized. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but I have been loving an oversized look lately. You guys, I have a haul coming up and I got some pants. You guys are going to be shocked that I got. I'm trying to still figure out if I'm going to wear them, how I'm going to wear them, but we'll talk about them later. Karen Millen is a website that I go back and forth with. Sometimes I frequent, some, sometimes I do not. But in my quest to find some really beautiful coats, I found some really gorgeous things on Karen Mellon. I will also say that Karen Mellon does have some things that are extended sizes. Some things are only go up to like a 12, I believe, but then they also have extended sizes. The first coat that kind of stuck out to me is this brown fur and leather belted coat. Tell me this is not beautiful. The color, the beltedness, beltedness, the color, the belt, um, the way it lays. It's just a really pretty jacket that will stand the test of time, I feel like. I feel like you'll be able to wear this for quite a while. And though there are plenty of things to show you on Karen Millen, I wanted to show you this Sherling long line coat. It's gorgeous. Just don't skip out on Karen Millen. I know it's not something that's often talked about, but go check them out. Again, they have extended sizes and see what they're talking about. If you are the kind of person that likes your coat to be structured, but you want a little bit of color, this one from Ted Baker is gonna do it for you. Green and white and gray, very cute. It's long like I need it. It's always belted. Belted is always a nice option and it's just beautiful. Ted Baker does make really good things, good quality things. So go ahead and check it out. Wait for the sale because I'm, you know, guys, sales season is coming. I'm not, I'm never going to tell you to overspend now. And if you're the type of person who likes the totem scarf coat, um, but don't want to pay that price, Ted Baker has an option though. It is longer and it's slightly different. It is very much alike. It looks very much like the totem one and will give you the same vibe. I thought this coat from ASOS was very interesting. It's very funky. It's a two tone, um, coat. And we spoke about this before, how that was kind of in style. Um, but this is a very affordable price. But if you're the kind of person that likes something a little different a little funky um but not too bright i think this is the option speaking of bright this coat for massimo duty is beautiful it is such a pretty soft pale yellow that is to die for i was telling you guys about this orange coat that i wanted for massimo duty i still don't see it i've only seen it on people overseas and i'm hoping that it comes to the massimo duty website um in the states but if not, this is a close second. This is not usually a color that I would wear. This pale of a yellow, the yellow I wear is usually more rich. The way they styled on this model makes me think that I might be able to pull it off. I don't know. But I just wanted to show you guys just in case this yellow was good for you. I have this long fuchsia um, bubble coat from Target that I got years ago. And every time I wear this coat, somebody compliments me about it and then asks me where I got it. And I'm always so sad because it's from Target and it's been sold out for years at this point. But if you are a person that's looking for a beautiful, bright fuchsia jacket or coat, there are plenty of them. This one, though it is not a bubble coat, a beautiful, beautiful color. This brand, in fact, has some beautiful coats. I don't know if you ever heard of it or if you ever shopped there. This coat from Ralph Lauren is giving me a very similar vibe to my pink, my long pink coat that I got a few years ago. It is definitely more expensive because it's Ralph Lauren and mine was from Target. But again, it's just beautiful. When it starts to get cold, like I said, I tend to go to black and grays and you know, those type of nude colors. But it's always nice to see somebody walking down the street in a sea of black and gray and brown um, in this beautiful bright pink color. And I really think that's why people stop me when I wear that coat because mostly everyone else's coat is black. And here I am walking down the street <laughs> with this big bubble gum, not bubble gum, because it's fuchsia, but this big, beautiful pink, coat. So this is another option. It's very pretty and maybe it will go on sale for the holiday. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I'm going to say it. We give so much credit and, and, and energy for Zara that we just miss the goodness at mango i'm telling you there's gold at mango i recently saw um, on tiktok this girl got this purse 
and I ordered immediately. Now on the website, it didn't look as good, but on, on TikTok, it looks so shiny and I can't wait to show you guys when it gets here, I will let you know, but we can't keep skipping out on mango like this. Like I know people do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but Zara hauls are a thing while mango is not. And it's, it's very surprising to me. I don't get it. But anyway, here is something that I saw from Mango that I thought was really cute. Mango also has all these Sherling bombers, which I told you before that Sherling and bomber jackets are a big trend right now. They have all these beautiful options. They even have one in this really electric blue. Like if blue was your style and you're kind of funky, this is a, a fabulous option. This long coat with the fur detachable detail is so classy, but also can be dressed very trendy with some like dunks or something. There are so many options on Mango and we just skip. Do me a favor. Next time you have the urge to go to Zara, go to Mango and see what they have first. River Island also has some really good coats. Every year, I always stop by to see what they have. They do sell out fairly quickly. I will say with River Island though that it's important to look at the material because sometimes it looks better on the website than it does when it gets you know in front of your face when you could feel it so go ahead and check out that material and then gauge your expectations according to that this lavender puffer is giving me the same bright vibes um i love this it's oversized i love the the idea of having a wool coat but when you just want to get up in the morning like for on a sunday or a saturday and you just want to run i don't know to get some coffee or whatever you want something well, i want something that kind of envelops me and makes me feel nice and cozy with my boots or my sneakers and i think this will do the trick i love this color when you're looking for a puffer don't only think about black right if you're a New Yorker, you have to have a big black puffer coat, right? But in addition to that, you do or you can look for some color. And I think this is a really good option. This other one, this pink coat is very similar to the Saks Pop vibe. Um, it can come off as a little dry, <laughs> a little cheap looking, and maybe a bit corny if you style it wrong. It, in my opinion, because this is not the most expensive coat and the color is very prissy and very prim and proper, I would style this with something total opposite, right? So I would never, for my style, maybe you would, I would never style this with a floral dress or a floral top. It just, it would not, it wouldn't scream fashion to me. But if you're the type of person that wears a baggy pant, the juxtaposition with something very feminine and something very masculine, peeled together often gives very fashionable vibes. If that color pink is just too much for you, it's Pepto-Bismol, it does come in a different color. I do think there's potential in this though, if you see this and you like it and it's in uh, your price range. On the total opposite end of the spectrum, this coat is giving me clean girl, um, totem type of rich auntie vibes. Uh, I told you guys about totem before, it's a very high-end expensive, luxury brand beautiful things but this is giving you that same vibe but for a much cheaper option if you're the type of girl who loves celine who has the celine uh uh triumph glass sunglasses or loves the celine black tie fragrance this is a jacket you would wear right it's very very that it gives me very very much that aesthetic and then lastly if you like just a bit of color this coat with the orange or red stripe in the middle is giving you just that. It's giving you structure, it's giving you fun with that little bit of stripe, and hopefully it's gonna give you warmth. Guys, it's cold. <laughs> Thanksgiving is coming, Christmas is coming. It's time to find a really good warm coat. And that's what I have for you today. I have tons of coats. <laughs> I have so much to show you guys, um, but you know, I can't put it all in a little video. There's so many things. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.